Hey, welcome to the Quarantine Check-In with Robert Frank, a show where I check in on other comedians of how they're doing during the quarantine. My guest today is Brennan Charles. Brennan, I hear you are hey. in Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> what part of Indiana? Here. Uh, it is East Central Indiana, uh, so basically halfway between Fort Wayne and Indianapolis. No. Is that map behind you to show you all the places you can be other than Indiana? <laughs> yeah, I like to look at it and think about, you know, where else I can go once this is all over. Where, where would be the first place you're, you'll go once this is all over? Uh, probably just back to Detroit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you know, since you left, Detroit has become, might become the next epicenter of the virus. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that, so... I don't know. I do want to sneak back up, but I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think Gretchen would be too proud of me for doing that. So, no. And plus, you know, you have you can have your parents pay for your food while you're there. That's true. Yeah. So, um, how have you been coping with the whole? Uh, you know, I've just been trying to stay busy. I think that's probably what everyone's trying to do. So, I know I notice I'm more active on social. I think a lot of other uh, comics I see more active on social posting more doing more of the uh instagram stories i haven't done anything live yet but i did do one virtual open mic the ellison open mic uh, so that was fun but you know just trying to stay busy uh i haven't written a whole lot i don't feel that inspired to but i'll try and do that uh trying to you know do different things in baking cooking cleaning i don't know <laughs> i think i think we're all doing a lot more baking and cleaning <laughs> yeah I went to I went to buy some. I went out to the grocery store. They had no cleaning supplies there. Oh no, it's it's empty. It's been empty. Yeah, yeah. At least I got toilet paper. There you go. I yeah, I missed the boat on. I think it was uh, would have been the March. So within a week before everything closed, I at like nine o'clock at night that night I was like I should probably get some hand sanitizer, and I went to Meyer. I had other things to get, and it was. I, I was like, where do they keep it? And I even called them, and they told me. And that's when I realized, oh, it's gone. That's why I don't see it. Uh, and I went to a Kroger, a Rite Aid. I even went to an Ulta. Uh, all gone. And so I missed the boat on that. So, you know, what are you going to do? No, um, I hear you on that. I hear you. Um, <laughs> that's just crazy. So um, you were supposed to be in the dirtiest rumble last week. I well wait it's a uh, no it's gonna be it was gonna be this upcoming Tuesday I think oh. the thirty first yeah well, it's not happening no and a lot of people know you as a clean comic can you share with us your dirty joke oh, no. <laughs> I tried to do it once I tried to do the bit once at Kave and I barely got through it uh, there's no no way uh, and it's postponed I think so I might who knows I might do it. Uh, but there's oh no I, I well I don't know <laughs> I haven't looked at I haven't looked at that material in a while uh, let's just say it involved uh, it involved some sexual subject matter uh, <laughs> which was very uncomfortable for me to talk I, about I think that might be uncomfortable for the audience to hear you talk about. <laughs> yeah I tried to, I also tried to do it at a, the three four two open mic and I ended up just. Uh, complaining just making fun of people who are so open i don't know I, that's always something that's weird to me is how um comics are so especially like new comics i feel like are so ready to go there like they, 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 they just go up on stage and their first set is like oh i'm masturbating i'm like oh my gosh like you don't even know these people so I, it's weird to me but i i think that's the one time where you can be so open because you have no material. All right. Yeah. I can do a joke about getting high. I can do a joke about masturbation. I can do a joke about having sex. I can do a joke about living with my parents. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just get better from there or you don't move on. I mean, it's weird. I, I went and watched my first set a few weeks ago and I cringed. Mm. Well, I think that's a good thing. You You want to grow, so... What, what was, the, looking back. What, what was what? the joke you ever told on stage? Well, I took, I started with the stand-up 101 class with Bill Bichart. 
so we, if you, anyone who's familiar with that, you get up in the class and you just kind of, he encourages you just to kind of talk about what you're thinking and what you've written down. So I don't even really remember the first like joke I attempted to tell. I, it wasn't very good. I think it was actually about, um, uh, like, um, God, I think it was something about, uh, like praying to God. I don't even remember. It wasn't good. <laughs> that so. doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound like, uh, the Brennan Charles. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you're, you're, you're a movie fan. I would say somewhat, um, yes. Have you watched anything good while you, you've been locked down? Uh, I haven't watched, uh, so I watched Tiger King, which I feel like the entire world has. I'm, um, I'm, I'm quarantining myself from Tiger King. That's how I applaud that. Uh, a friend of mine encouraged me to watch it, and it was before it really kind of blew up, much like the virus. Uh, Do you think there's and, a correlation? There could be. I mean, we're not scientists. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but So I, I did watch that. I read, um, I finished reading the book, so I had started reading it before quarantine. I finished it. It was called The Chestnut Man. It's set in Denmark. It's very dark. Uh, it was good. And I read, then to kind of chase that, I read, well, it was still a, kind of a dark book, but a more friendly book. It's called Little Fires Everywhere. Um, uh, uh, there's a mini series now. There's a mini series. I might watch it. I might not. I struggle. Oh, I have a, oh, there. That's my mom. Now it, there's a dog in the room. And there's a, this is just so much fun. <laughs> this is Boo, by the way. Oh, Boo. She's hanging out. And then Danny just walked in. She's a very old dachshund, but she's she's fine. Well, is, anyway, is, is that your childhood bedroom? Uh, technically. So I uh, this was actually when we moved here. This is my oldest brother's room, and I shared a room with my brother. And then when he moved to college, I took over this room. Okay. So, and this is yeah. So like from this is my room from seventeen, seventeen on. So do you like have any uh, of your high school stuff in there? I mean, it's packed away. <laughs> like, I, de I didn't leave it out. <laughs> you, you don't have your yearbook that you could share with us. It would take a little bit of time we don't, to get it. <laughs> we don't have that kind of time. In the <laughs> it's, I mean, it's up in the closet, but uh, I could get it down, but it would take some time. All right. All right. Let's see what else we can talk about. Um, so where do you think comedy is going to go once we get out of this whole thing? <sighs> I think it'll just take – I think it'll slowly pick back and – pick back up and get to normal again i think people might be a little apprehensive at first about going to crowds again but i don't know based on the fact that people aren't even really obeying the rules of quarantine now i feel like once it's actually okay i i can't see that people are going to really freak out too much about being in groups and being in crowds and in packed places at kroger today they actually had uh places where you need to stand while you're oh yeah yeah I went to Meyer uh, a couple nights ago. Hold on, let me get. I'll get Dany here too. She's there's Dany. Hello, animal. Yeah, but uh, I went to I went to Meyer. Yeah, they had like the. Don't worry, it was nice. I threw her on the couch. Um, yeah, the lines where you have to stand, which I don't know that it does too much, but yeah. And they have a sneeze guard now too. Oh yeah, I saw that on the news. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of wonky because it's only right in front of the register. <laughs> so if you're the bagger. And you get sneezed on, you are not protected. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, Those poor baggers. Yeah, the checkout person, the person who rings you up. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's weird out there. It's weird. Like, it is. I never thought I would live through a pandemic. No, I did not. Did not. Yeah. So, how many bad uh, quarantine jokes, coronavirus jokes, are we going to hear when we all come back? I think we're going to hear a lot because. Obviously, you kind of have to, as a comic, say what's on people's minds. And I feel like that's going to be on people's minds when they're out of lockdown is, okay, you know, we kind of have to address the obvious, the fact that, well, for the past however many months, once we're done, we've been in lockdown. So I don't know if it would be really authentic to get on stage and just pretend like nothing happened. But I don't know. I haven't, I haven't come across anything that I think is too clever yet. So it'll be interesting to see what people can come up with. Uh, to address it in a unique way. I've, uh, I've, I'm liking this to being in prison. So I'm thinking about <laughs> to go fund me to get Morgan Freeman to narrate a day of my life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder how much I would need to make that happen. 
I mean, this is like house arrest. I mean, Martha Stewart, after she was in prison, went on house arrest, and this is basically that. So, yeah, but she had to wear an ankle monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't. That's true. Yeah. So is Indiana shut down? Yes, uh, it's the same as as Michigan, where non-essential travel is essentially banned. It's weird that going to McDonald's is essential travel. Yeah, there are a lot of. Um, loopholes in that you know pole order but yeah white castle is essential <laughs> i mean if you're constipated yeah that might be a, a medical is there a white castle white near castle? you because i am many miles from a white castle so yeah there's one i think on eight mile mm. i drive home from work i would pass it yeah okay yeah. There was one that I would drive home. It was on 13 Mile, but it closed, which I didn't know was a thing. I didn't know White Castle oh, ever the one closed. Right what? The one right by Woodward. Yes. Two. Yeah. I drove past that. I saw the, a for sale sign. I started thinking to myself, what can you do with this? <laughs> uh, this building is one thing and one thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite, though, when a fast food restaurant like that goes out of business and someone else buys it and doesn't change anything about it, and you can just tell what it used to be the entire time. There was, I see that with Taco Bell. So I see a oh, yeah. in the Taco Bell and like a deli in a Taco Bell. <laughs> I think if I bought it, if I, if I found an old Taco Bell for sale, I would open it up as Burrito Bell and just basically have the same menu. And have I can't them. get you for that. No, no, no. Um, so what else have you been doing to stay busy besides cleaning and cooking? I've been, I've been working out, but a modified version of it because obviously the gyms are closed. So I've, there's a, luckily there's a trailhead not too far from my parents' house. So I've run a few times uh, and worked out in home. And uh, so, you know, trying to just not, um, not go crazy. It, it definitely helps with, with stress. Yeah, I'm... Uh... Today's like the first day the nerves in my leg have actually started feeling good where I can contemplate maybe working out. Mm. I miss it. And I'll be honest, my diet in quarantine just isn't as good. Well, I mean, whose is going to be? I mean, come on. You know, you can't go to the grocery two to three days a week and get, you know, fresh produce and make all these fresh meals. So it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been eating a lot of uh, store-bought ramen. There you go. It's the best you can get for 96 cents. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to keep you much longer. So I'd like to end this by mm -hmm. playing a little game. I have become addicted to reading the misconnections on, uh, on Craigslist. Oh. And yeah, yeah. Totally frozen. Well, hopefully this will come out. So sorry. I am going to read one to you. And okay. I hope you can make a joke out of it. Oh, gosh. Okay. On the spot here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'll try. So th th these are all real, okay? And this one is from Scottsdale, Arizona, okay. or North Scottsdale Road. It says, better now. And I'm going to just be honest, the grammar on this one is complete shit. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I expect nothing but the best grammar from a misconnection, so I'm very disappointed. Yeah, so you, you, you might be more disappointed when I read this one to you. <laughs> The Circle K on Scottsdale Road by discount, one of the coffee machines was broken, and you were waiting for the one I was using, using. I said, good morning. You asked how I was doing today, and very smoothly I said, better now, and smiled at you and left. Your face light up, I noticed. I'm very much younger, but you are very beautiful. Gray sweater, sexy black dress, brown boots, and beautiful dark brown eyes. You had short hair, reddish brown. Hope I see you again. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, love the coffee section of a Circle K. All right. The, the coffee machines. Coffee machines. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I would want to make, I don't know, this this sounds kind of dirty. I feel like there's some sort of joke between a Circle K and another kind of circle. 
<laughs> but you, why, why would you go there? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the first. I don't know. I've been you, in quarantine. You, you, for two you weeks. were controlling your parents' house for way too long. <laughs> I I know. I yeah. Uh, on the spot, I'm never good with stuff like this. But wow. I mean, they found love in a hopeless place. That's really all I can say. <laughs> no, but do you think she could love him with his grasp, his lack of grasp on grammar? My assumption is that she's probably not grasping too much grammar either. I don't think she's been doing too much schoolhouse rock in her day. So How do you know? She was obviously dressed too impressed to go to the Circle K by wearing a gray sweater, sexy, sexy black dress, brown boots, and beautiful dark brown eyes. I mean, I guess judge not, lest you be judged, but... If, I, I wish if someone... There was a park there, I feel like... You are totally breaking up. Brandon, you are frozen like Han Solo oh. when Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> it's that, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting a while. Well, you are breaking up again. My. Uh, uh, All right, Brandon. <laughs> The, the dirtiness that you were about to go through probably just destroyed the Indiana internet. It's probably, yes. <laughs> so, my, I think I would say, since there is no, this guy does not use any punctuation. Or, oh, okay. That um, this guy isn't meant to find love anywhere, even at the Circle K. Oh. <laughs> that poor guy. So, Here's a fun fact. I used to live. I used to live in Phoenix. And, okay. Oh, okay. And I was dry, I was drinking at a bar with my old art director. This place called the Monk. Either called Monkey Paw or Monkey Pants. I'm going to say Monkey Pants. It's probably the only reason why I wanted to go drink there. And as I was driving home, I stopped in the Circle K. And as I was driving back from there in my apartment complex, there was a naked old homeless guy <laughs> who ran up to my car wow. as I parked going, can you give me a ride to the Circle K? And I'm like, why? Is that where you left your clothes? And then immediately... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three days later... What a story. I feel like you... I think you can only be a naked homeless person in Arizona. In Southern California and Florida. Yeah. That would be the place to be homeless. Not that they're, you, know, you want to be, but... Yeah, who knows? The weather's like, nice. <laughs> um, well, hopefully you'll get back here soon. Um, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, thank you for being on this. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you for having me. We, You know, you should. I'm going to start pumping next tomorrow's guest, a uh, comedian from Nebraska named Jeremy Plum is going to be on here. Oh, hey, Jeremy Plum. Plum shout, shout out. out. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are. We are. Having comedians from all over the country coming on here. <laughs> well, Nebraska is just like Indiana, except more corn. So there you go. Oh yeah, Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska is like the lesser cousin of Indiana. No offense. Because <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least Indiana is the gateway to either Michigan or Illinois, or Nebraska is the gateway to to nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it has corn and it has, I don't know what else it has. But it, I drove mm. and it was boring. Mm. The Cornhusker State. I thought that was Iowa. Is it, uh, Iowa, Iowa, what are they? What's the, I forget. I'm pretty sure Nebraska's Cornhusker. Iowa is like some weird mascot of their college. It's like Hawkeye. I think they're Hawkeye. Uh, other conversation for another day. I used to know all the nicknames of all the states. Fun fact. All right, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna give you a, a trivia question on Indiana. Oh God. Okay. What is oh. the biggest sporting event to take place in Indiana? Oh, the Indianapolis 500. All Postponed. Right. Was it? Oh yeah. Due to Rona. Okay. So what happened in Indiana on May 30th, 1911? I do not know. 
The first long distance auto race in the U.S. was happened there at the Indiana Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Um, uh, should have known it was motor related. Okay. When Abraham Lincoln moved to Indiana, what county? Yeah. Did he move to? It was um, I don't know what county, but wasn't I think he lived in Bloomington or like modern day Bloomington. The answer is Spencer County. Spencer, Spencer County. Uh, I'll have to look that up and see if that's where Bloomington is. I do not know. Okay, one last question to see how well you know Indiana. Um, what city uh, receives over half one half million letters and requests at Christmas time? Oh, that's Santa Claus, Indiana. Is it, so that's actually a real place. Yeah, home of Holiday World. Don't go there if you value your life. All right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it is an unsafe theme park. <laughs> it's not a good place to go. It's like, it's like the generic version of Cedar Point. Uh, would be my description of it. But are there? Is there sleigh rides? No, it's a. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't been there. My brother went with friends in middle school. It's far away from where I live. It's Southern Indiana, which is just like a different kind of Indiana. Um, I think the I think like the theme of the theme park is holiday. So I think different sections of the park are like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, Easter, like real crazy, you know. And uh, I just know someone died on a ride, uh, and it wasn't that long ago. So just think twice. So here's what I'm thinking: when all this is said and done, we are going to go to Holiday World. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards. Oh man. Oof, it's not the place for me. He's never been there. It's a, it was not, you know, Holiday World might have been the first theme park in, in America. I think I read uh, that. I don't, uh, I doubt that. <laughs> All right, we'll do some research. Brennan, okay. thank you for being on here. I All will right. see you, thank you. Hopefully sooner than later. And hopefully... If all my shows survive, I will have you on one of them again. Awesome. I look forward to it. Also, hey, um, we can spread this around. My show at Green Brain Comics, they are doing a fundraiser to try to keep their doors open, I think. Okay. So I'm going to post the info below. Yeah, shout out to Green Brain. That's a really cool place. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you, and we will see you sooner. Right. Later. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye.